Hi everyone of YouTube and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to push that subscribe button because I do videos every now and again. I am going to try and do it more often because of the pandemic. Everything's been stressing me lately. I'm going to explain what I've been up to to you guys that have been loyal to me from day one. I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys. I know some of you have been on my account for years. That really means the world to me. Let me know in the comments actually if you've been on here for a long time because that would really make me happy. That would make me feel like i'm loved i've actually made my own application i will leave the link to my all my links in the description where all my links are located there's all of my social medias everything on there go and have a look and see what you can find on there there's a link to my website it's a safeplanet.com on there you can find my app also the website i made which is a safeplanet.com anyone can sign up it's free you can make your own account i did this because i felt bored i wanted people to be able to post what they wanted when they wanted for nothing to be taken down unless it's illegal obviously post what you want i made a porn page so people can post their porn on it if they want to i haven't personally posted any porn on there i posted one picture that's a lie i posted one picture so if you want to go and check that out for free the link will be in the description on the all my links i'm struggling today to come up with what to say because it's been such a long time i'm gonna have to edit this video so much ah, so give it a like if you actually like it don't if you don't it's okay i've been struggling money wise lately i have been doing porn as lots of you guys know my boyfriend's completely fine with it it earns me money only a little bit here and there at the moment i'm needing taxi fare if you guys want to help me out get in taxi fare to go to my boyfriend then all you have to do is go and check out my only fans i post porn on there i also do it on my patreon as well there's lots and lots on my only fans my patreon there's not so much but you get a seven day free trial of my only fans patreon's cheaper my honest opinion get my patreon because i get the money straight away on patreon you get a seven day free trial of my only fans and if you like my only fans as well then make me extremely happy and subscribe to that as well because that would make me want to marry you okay that would make me want to marry you with all that aside i made a how to css code video i posted it on tribe and i said in the video that i wanted to post it on my youtube it's taken me days to actually get the motivation to film a video it's been a massive motivation thing during this lockdown i've just lost it i'm not sure if any of you guys have struggled with that as well my motivation has been zero like i've not done much i'm wondering if any of you guys have struggled with that as well i'm actually proud of myself for picking up the camera today editing today future polly is happy thank you future polly you are amazing girl i've been stressing i'm 21 and i still live at home that's been stressing me out i can't work i'm on universal credit because of my nerves and there's a guy here fixing internet in because at the moment we're all using my phone's internet which has been stressful to say the least it cuts off every five seconds so when i go to watch something on the television it cuts me off before that we had really shit internet it took 10 years to upload a video to youtube this new one is going to be faster this new one's going to be boom 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 which will make me extremely happy i just patted my boob bed and i hope you saw that whoops a days sorry about that that wasn't supposed to be inappropriate i'm not cutting that out i always say that this video video is not for children anyway so hopefully no kids find this video if you're a kid go away now i love you this is an adult channel really i aim my audience to sort of 18 plus maybe 16 17 but mostly 18 plus you can still get useful stuff out of my channel i mean i've got so many videos on vlogging and makeup and shot cut i'm gonna take the coding bit that i just said out of the video because there's literally only going to be one video of coding and that's going to be this video i'm literally not a coder i'm gonna go out with my boyfriend and upload two videos on my channel so after this video there will be another video but i'm not sure how long it's going to take to upload i'll tell you what if the new internet is working then it'll be quicker but if not this next video will be uploaded probably the next day after this one because i'm telling you the internet is crap i really want to get out this council flat so if you want to help me get out this council flat and live on my own with my partner at the age of 21 all you have to do is subscribe to my only fans or my patreon like i say patreon's better and you get to see me naked oh i might cut that out maybe i won't there's more than just that obviously you know what porn is you're not an alien all right okay you know what it is i'm not myself at the moment i'm literally struggling so bad with this video it's almost like i don't know my fans anymore that's bad isn't it but it's like i haven't been and i, I can't really call you fans because it's more like a family thing i made this 
to sort of be a family platform. We can all be, that's why I'm called Vent Me No Judge. It's supposed to be a non judgmental platform. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes people bicker in the comments and sometimes people are a little bit rude. But at the end of the day, we all need to just chill our tits, okay? Don't whip your tits out. That's not what I meant. Just chill them. Don't put them in the freezer. Just chill out. That's all you need to do. You just need to go. Mm -hmm. I'm not drunk. I wish I was, but I'm not. All that aside, and me telling you that I'm going to do a vlogging video afterwards, etc, etc. I need to get on with today now. I actually need to get the vlogging video done and edit this video first. I might do it afterwards. I want you guys to see CSS coding what I do know, because I know that I struggled with this when I started my website up. I needed to know how to CSS code, because it was more about the website was already there, but I just needed to edit and make my own touch to it. I started CSS coding. I had help on the website I made it on. I had help from people on there at first just asked them all the questions but then I thought I'm getting replies every three days and that's fine because obviously I know everyone has their own lives but I thought I can't wait three days when I'm trying on the time I'm trying to do my website. I ended up learning how to CSS code on my own. Looked up how to find out what your names of icons are on websites and then I went from there and started CSS coding, which is really, really amateur, but I'm not like an advanced coder, don't get me wrong, I'm far from it, my friend, but I'm a starter, probably won't improve now, but what I've got, I want to show you, because I know that old me was struggling, and it was very frustrating, and I felt thick, and that's not something you want to feel like. Obviously, you're not thick, but I felt thick. Everyone else was managing to make theirs look nice and lovely, and that was me, and I was like, how do I do this? I've got juggling things, and... I don't know how to juggle and I don't know how to juggle but apart from that enjoy the video <laughs> today I'm going to show you how to do CSS coding on your website I'm hoping that this doesn't cut me off like last time so let's just roll with it and see what happens I'll check when I'm a minute or so in to make sure that it's still doing as it's supposed to do on here because I've done this video numerous amounts of times. This is for my YouTube and for you guys on Tribe. I use the website Tribe, tribe.so. Uh, something. I'll leave that in the description and I've made my own website on there. Once you get 500 followers then you have to pay to get more you know more people to sign up to your page but it will still be on the web just pe new people won't be able to thingy but it's a really good website so 100% go check it out guys that's not sponsored by the way that's just me saying it's a good website because it is so what you want to do is you to CSS code you want to find on the website what you want to code now if it's a post make sure that you click somewhere up the top here and you want to right click that and push the inspect button it will come up with this lovely lovely page now it comes up with a lot of stuff if it hovers over the wrong thing then click somewhere else on the post until it hovers the right thing now the name could appear here or the name could appear somewhere on here if it's called something like spam it comes up and the writing in the corner is called spam then it's very important that you choose the writing on here because that could just be a general name not the actual name of the post so it's very important that you play around on here to see which one of these works um, which one of these names works to change what you're looking to change now we found the name of it anyway it's, it's the name up here um, when you've hovered over it it's the name over it, that's what the name is called so what you want to do is you want to put that name that's displayed when you hover over the whole thing that you want to edit and you want to put that into your CSS box. If you're using your own website what you need to do is find out uh, you know um, find out where your own CSS box is so ask on Yahoo or any place like that. Now I'm just going to check to make sure that this video is still recording. Let's have a little look. Yeah it's still recording that's brilliant. Now you're on your CSS page so what you want to do is write down what the thing that you hovered over was called now it might be an idea to write it on your phone okay um, sorry I popped up the wrong thing there so I'm back to where I started using what I started with because the other editor that I had only done the first part but I guess that's all we really needed anyway because I showed you 
how to get to the thing that you needed to get to. So, basically, you need to put the name of the item that you wanted, you know, the item name that we found together, and you need to write it down here, you know, the item that you want to edit. Um, and I showed you how to do that at the beginning of this video. Sorry, guys, I'm really tired. I've done this for five hours and it's failed me every time. I'm stressed. But I knew I needed to do it because I like helping people. And this one is going to work because I'm using the right editor for it. So once you've written your name down, it needs to know what it needs to do. It's a computer and it doesn't know what it's going to do with this name. So what you want to do is you want to... Uh, decide what you want to do with it. So if you're wanting to hide it, you can use the code display unimportant. Now what this does is it completely wipes out your post. So let's say we want to get rid of this post, it completely wipes it out. It gets rid of it, it's gone now. And uh, at the top of the post will be that. That will be at the top of the page. It's like if I got rid of that middle one, this would be right next to it. Or if I wanted to add something new in the middle, I could because the visibility would be gone completely and that space would be, well, that no, that space would be gone. Like that space would literally be gone. There'd be nothing else you could add there. That space would be completely gone. That would be taken up. But on the other hand, you can use the code visibility hidden. So I will show you what that looks like now. We're getting there and... As long as you've got a cup of tea in your hand, the world is Gucci at the end of the day, really, isn't it? Right, so you can use this code here, visibility hidden. Now, what that will do is it will keep the space there. So let's say we wanted to get rid of this posting group thing. It would keep the space, but all you'd see behind it would be the blue. That'd be all you'd see. You wouldn't, you'd have the space there and you wouldn't see the posting groups and you, nobody would be able to click on it either it'd just be a big space you could add whatever new you wanted there whatever thing you wanted new so the difference between visibility hidden and display unimportant is visibility hidden hides it but the space is still there whereas display unimportant gets rid of it completely and then obviously whatever was next to it will be in that space or underneath it would be in that space if you like um, so the next thing I'm going to tell you how to do is change the background colour of your post. So as you can see here, I've got, uh, it says background colour and then hashtag a number and then explanation mark important. That's the code you need, but it's different for another website. So if you're using Tribe, feel free to use this code. And on Tribe as well, the way you can uh, find out what colour so this here tells the computer what colour it needs. Now how you can know what colour you need, so what number yours needs to be to get your desired colour, would be to go into general and click here and choose the desired colour that you like. So say you want red, it would give you a number for that. So what you'd need to do is change my number into your number. So get rid of my number and change it into your number which would make the background colour of the item you desire to be that colour. So if you have another website, you need to inspect, like I showed you at the start of this video, you'd need to inspect, but scroll down and see what your background word is called. Because maybe you haven't called it background, or maybe colour isn't called colour, so you'd need to find that out. Just scroll down on the inspection and see if you can work out what you've named the background of that and what you've named the colour of that because let's say you've got background colour blue and it says background colour blue you'll know that or, or it says something like let's just have a laugh here bottom finger blue <laughs> okay let's just say it says that um, you'll know that whatever the link that you've tapped on is so whatever is hovering you'll know that the bottom color is blue all right so you'll be like okay so that on that post that part of the post is blue therefore that must mean that that's 
called background and that's called colour. So it's really about experimenting with the inspection really and getting to know what, what things are called on the inspection. Um, so obviously for tribe really simple, background dash colour and then hashtag and then the you know number you need, explanation mark important. The last thing I'm going to tell you how to do that I personally know how to do on my own, easy CSS still and a lot of you guys keep asking about these on tribe so I thought it's best for me to explain it because I was in that position not long ago where I didn't even know how to do simple ones. Um, what you'd need to do is just put in colour instead of background so just get rid of background dash and just put colour and it would just be this, this code. So pause on whatever you need to in this video guys. Okay, so it just be colour and then your desired colour and then explanation mark important. And obviously you'd have to tell it what needs, what colour, like what needs to change into that colour. So literally your code would be that. And say if you wanted to change the background, your code would be that. Do you know what I mean? Like that anyway. And if you wanted to display an unimportant, your code would be that. And, you know, this whole thing here. And if you wanted to... Uh, visibility hidden your code would be uh, whatever your thingy is and then visibility hidden which I showed you uh, earlier so yeah that's it guys that's all I had to show you Um, hope it helps someone I know it's simple you might have already known how to do it so sorry if you've wasted your time um, and I'm sorry if I've wasted your time because it's pretty much my fault for you know putting on the, the video title showing you how to do CSS or whatever I'm going to call it um, but hopefully it helped some of you as well. So hopefully you did get something out of this, whether it be, you know, how to inspect a website properly and, and know how to easy CSS code your website. And um, so thank you for listening, guys. Bye.